Joffrey, Renly, Rob Stark, we're all thieves. They'll bend the knee or I'll destroy them. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Citadel with me, Grandmaster Stitch, where we are once again returning to CK3 for our 1066 start date series, where we are going to be playing as King Alfonso the Fourth, the Brave of Leon. So um there was loads of ones I wasn't sure what to do 10 for 1066. I really struggled to pick one, but I didn't want to go anything near England with William the Conqueror or anything like that, so I wanted to come further away. So I decided to go um down here in Spain in Iberia and we're going to um play as a series that gets done probably quite a lot, especially in CK2. I played it many times, but it's going to be fun to see this very fun playthrough in a very different light with CK3. So, as we know, the middle of the brothers rules the middle of the lands, the richest and wealthiest of the lands, I believe it is, as this was the favourite son of the predecessor who owned all three. Um, we've got very impressive intrigue, just like in the last game. We've got six diplomacy, five martial, six stewardship, 21 intrigue. So, we're obviously going to go with an intrigue lifestyle focus. We're calm, deceitful, cynical, and an elusive shadow. So, yes, we're very good intrigue wise so of course we're going to go with a lifestyle focus of intrigue and we've already got a few things in it we're already dark insights which um when you torture someone we have a 50 percent chance of gaining either one intrigue or one prowess we're dreadful so we gain 30 percent dread and we're thriving in chaos so martial and intrigue and prowess all improve under stress so that's pretty nice um we've got to pick our lifestyle Focus. So what do we have? We have school duggery focus, schemes, subversions, and secrets. Focus on school duggery grants um, agent acceptance plus 10, intrigue plus 3. Temptation focus, seduction, desire, and the gentle art of twisting people around your little finger. 20% fertility increase, attraction plus 10, seduction scheme power plus 20, and intimidation focus, threats both um, avert and subtle guide the path to true power. Our dread improves even more. Um, the top one's probably our best bet for what we want to do, so we'll go with the school degree focus for that. So yes, here we are in Leon, the middle of the three Spanish kingdoms. We've got our brother... Um, King Sancho II, the Strong of Castile, and King Garcia Fernandez of Galicia, um, basically Portugal. And um, he doesn't look overly impressive. And we are the heir to both of these. He's unmarried. Is yeah, the King of Castile is also unmarried. We want to obviously plot to murder him straight away. So murder King Sancho. Um, if scheme is successful, King Sancho is killed. As long as the scheme is kept secret, you are not exposed for the crime of murder. Okay, expected time um, could be two years. So we'll start that scheme straight away to try and murder our brother. We are unmarried, so we need to find ourselves a spouse. We want one that is going to give us an alliance. Someone close by would be good. Let's have a look what we've got. Maybe one of the other Spanish kingdoms, such as Aragon or Navarra, one of those two, would be pretty good. Barcelona, maybe. Let's have a look. Okay, so we've got our cousin, um, who is from Aragon. Interesting. Um, Hereford, Navarra. Oh, we've got one from Navarra, our cousin as well. 25. Um, she's not overly impressive. Pretty decent learning. Is she the actual daughter of the king? No. She is not, so we won't bother with her. What about that Aragon princess, then, who we have here, our cousin? Um, she is King Sancho of Aragon's sister. Okay, so that could work. So we'll go with you. So send proposal for marriage, hopefully gaining an alliance with Aragon. It's only a small kingdom over here, but they have 400 men, which will probably help us, because still only have... 465 their self anyway what issues do we have that we can go with we can declare four wars but yeah there's nothing we can really do now we can create two titles the duchy of leon and the duchy of astorios um we are heir in line to inherit four titles uh, a powerful vassal demands a council position who is that mayor golermo um okay what are you good at you're not very good at anything you're pretty good at martial and intrigue um 
What's our spy master like? He's got 16, so you're not having that job. Oh, our marshal only has one, so we will replace him with you. There we go. Hopefully keeping you happy and in line. Um, we already have the claims on these lands, so we don't need to try and press those. We'll collect taxes. Yes, that's fine. We'll get you to support schemes. I think that's what we want you to do. Yes, we want you to do that in um, Castile to help us out there. So hopefully that will work well in our favour. We do need the wife as well. As we said, we'll look into that later on. We can invite people to this. We can also get agents. Um, most of these look like they're going to refuse massively, which is a shame. Are there any that are pretty close? You're pretty close. So if we were to send you... A gift or try and sway you we can't send you a gift we don't have enough money to send you a gift but we could try and sway some of these people which are the most dangerous though success chance 35 scheme power adds 20 we want someone that wow he is definitely not going to join minus 1000 um acceptance can be convinced okay we've got this lady here who's a courtier she can be convinced so let's um send you a small gift Hopefully we can invite you to scheme. We can bribe. No, we can't do it. We will not accept at present. But hopefully we can convince you to do that. If we uh, can we sway you? Let's try and sway you. Sway you. See if we can uh, do that. Um, it doesn't look like there's anybody else who's going to be willing to join, which is annoying. Um, who's got the most scheme power? Rather, you've got pretty decent scheme power. We'll leave it with who we've got for now, and we'll try and go with that. There's not much else more that we can do there. So let's... We are, we've already sent a proposal for marriage, so hopefully we can find ourselves... Uh, hopefully that wife will give us an alliance. So let's unpause. Let things tick along. The following faction that targeted uh, you has been disbanded. Okay. Greetings, cousin. I gladly accept your marriage proposal. You will be joined with my sister, Eureka, in the holy matrimony. May God grant you life, uh, long life and many children. Signed, King Sancho Ramirez of Aragon. Excellent. Can we... Um, hopefully we'll get some sort of... We can actually declare war on him, which is interesting. Um, wedding celebration. With my marriage to Queen Eureka, um, the realm expects us to throw a suitably, uh, a suitably extravagant wedding celebration. It is well within my right to collect a royal aid duty as part of this, but some may consider it tasteless to levy an extra tax during times of jubilation. Of course, I will collect it. Who pays for their own wedding? Um, I'll let my subjects enjoy the festivities without worry or care. We gain 350. We've got plenty of prestige. I'd rather have the money at present, even if it is going to upset people. So we actually have a claim on Aragon, which we could press, but we're not going to do that. How strong is our brother to the left? Wow, he's got a huge armor. Okay. Um, Count Pedro Asores of Valadoid uh, joined the agent in your scheme to murder King Sancho. Perfect. So that's improved our chances nicely, which is good. That's very good. We've got one agent. Um, hopefully we can sway a couple more. We are going to have to let time tick by to do that, though. So, yeah, we want to concentrate on uniting... The three kingdoms first. Then we can look over to Navarra and Aragon and Barcelona as well. Try and take all of these northern lands. And then we can concentrate on pushing the Muslims out of Spain and conquering the entire um, country. Um, is there anything? You can ne negotiate an alliance with... Ah, perfect. Yes, negotiate an alliance. Perfect. There we go. So that gets us that alliance. Uh, I am honoured by your request. I would be glad to call you an ally. Alliance formed with Infante Garcia Ramirez of Aragon. Marvellous news. Any alliance is a good alliance. It's going to help us out massively, isn't it? We've got 1,500 soldiers. Wow, okay, so that's improved. He's got 1,000. And how many do you have to the rest right of us? 1,000 as well. We could press our claim just by war, but... Do you... Hmm... Um, have you got any alliances? Because we could get an alliance with our brother in Castile. He's betrothed. That's good. He's betrothed himself to someone quite young. So that's good. So he's not going to be having a child anytime soon. We can negotiate an alliance. No, we've got no chance of that working because you don't like us. 
That's a shame. I thought maybe we could negotiate an alliance with you. Can we do it with the other brother? No. Okay, never mind. I was hoping that we might be able to form an alliance with one brother to work together to get rid of one, and then we can turn on the other brother afterwards. But it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do that. So instead, we're just going to forward time along and wait and bide our time until we kill our brother. Let's get rid of um, some of these. I'm not really interested. Yes, I know we can declare war. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, my last chance. Flane has decided that this time in his time in Leon has come to an end. The servants have picked his chests and his and he has said his farewells. Um, with Flane, when Flane goes, his claim on the county of Avero. Uh, oh no, with Flane goes his claim on the county of Avero. If I want to press it and make him my vassal, this is my last chance to make him stay. Okay, so who are you? Um, give me one year and I will press your claim. May your journey be swift and safe. So where's his claim? Um, the claim on the county of Avero. Which is where? Ah, okay. Okay, okay. So his claim will go with that. Um, give me one year and I will press your claim. If you have pressed Flame's claim, a Flame stays at court. If you have not pressed it, he'll leave. Yeah, so we'll give us a year. Because if we can kill our other brother within a year, we'll be able to press your claim within that year. So yes, just give us a chance and we'll see how we go. Uh, we've got one more issue. A cre increase opinion. Your vassal, Baron Gomez, has a low opinion of you. Um, well, we don't want to sway him just yet because we're already swaying other people. What if King Sancho were to discover you? Is it wise to continue this time-consuming effort? Count Pedro, and even though I know he will follow my lead in this, I can tell his concerns for me is genuine uh, my plans will go ahead i expect you to work hard you are right it's taken a lot of time come sit with me um no my plans will go ahead continue the scheme we need to get our brother dead and inherit his lands how is it going okay so we've got three months left so time goes by so quickly does it normally go this quick in ck2 it seems to go so quickly in ck3 uh, but hopefully soon we'll have our brother dead. Hopefully. We've got a lot of intrigue. Surely, surely we can get him dead. And then with the power of Castile and Leon combined, we can press our, claim, our uh, claim on Galicia. Hopefully we'll get a child soon as well. How is our wife doing? She's doing okay. Oh, we actually do need to get her doing something. So what can we get her to do? Court politics gives us more diplomacy. We don't have great diplomacy. Court intrigue though. Will give us four more intrigues. Let's go for that because we could do with the intrigue. Presence. We've got 28 intrigue now. Tidbits from far away. Visiting the local market, a merchant from a faraway land catches my attention. Come closer, my lord. Marvel at treasures never before seen in these lands. I had to blend into the populace to get these beauties out. Truly a harrowing experience. This merchant might have more to give me than marvels from afar. It must be interesting traveling as much as you do. You convince the merchant to share her insight with you. Um, a diplomacy challenge. She will tell me what she knows. You gain 13 dread. You gain understands people for three years. You gain 25 intrigue lifestyle experience. But we do gain 10 stress from that. This should cover both trinkets and information. We lose 50 gold. We understand people. No, we'll go for the middle option. Increase in our dread. We can take a little bit of stress. So we'll go with that. County of Leon gained um, threatened merchant five years. Knights and peasants. With the recent upset among the, uh, among the peasants of Burgos, one of my agents has presented a unique suggestion for taking care of King Sancho. With coin in the right pockets and uh, agi agitators on every corner, we could stage an entire riot while the king is passing through the streets. Um, time for some good old-fashioned mob rule. 61% chance King Sancho is killed. In addition, 24% chance of the scheme is discovered. This is far too unpredictable. Murder scheme loses progress. Estimated time, three months. Do not attempt some... 61%. A pretty decent chance. Do we brave it? I'm going to brave it. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Obviously, let's see if it works just as bad. You inherited the Kingdom of Castile and three other titles from King Sancho II, the Strong of Castile. Perfect. King Sancho is dead. 
beat and trampled by his own subjects. The agitated peasants went wild seeing their liege riding through the streets and tore both him and several of his knights from their mounts, beating them to death. Many peasants were, hung uh, were hanged, including my agitators, which means it cannot be traced back to me. Never underestimate the power of the mod. You lose 44. We kill our brother and we lose stress. That That's perfect. For outliving your rival, we also gain 150 prestige. Perfect. And Leon expands its borders. Right, so... Hello, King Garcia, our other brother. Um, I want to plot to murder you, please. Let's start that scheme. We'll try and get rid of him as well. Um, we've got one agent involved. We can convince you quite easily. Um, can we bribe you? And yes, and we can get you to invite you to the scheme, which is perfect. And apparently you can also be bribed. So we'll bribe you as well. We've gained a lot of money, which is good. We'll probably gain that from Castile. So perfect. We've managed to bribe two people to join our plot ah that's uh who was we we were trying to sway you we don't really need to anymore so we're going to abandon this scheme and who do we need to sway instead did it say we had some unhappy vassals um you can declare war on amir yaha yeah we won't do that at present we'll wait until we've got a little bit more power i think um, titles can be created. The Duchy of Castile and the Duchy of Cantabria. We'll get rid of them for now. Powerful vassals expect council positions. Who? Uh, okay, so we are going to have some new vassals now, aren't we? So let's have a look at our council positions and let's see if we've got anyone better for certain roles. So our Chancellor's only got 12 diplomacy. Can we go... Do we have anyone better? Not really. He's a mayor, but then this guy's a count. So... Hmm, yeah, we'll go with the Count instead. And get him on side. And yeah, uh, no, we want to go with domestic affairs. Let's get the people at home loving us before we try and get foreigners to love us. Um, steward, she's not great, is she? Surely we've got a better steward than that. Only slightly, but he is a Count, so we'll assign him. And yeah, just collect taxes, please. And hopefully that takes care of a couple of the... Yeah, there's two people. Count Pedro of Valadoy and Ifanta Yolika of Fernandez. That's... Wasn't that our wife? Yes, it is. Uh, oh, no, Pedro. Ah, okay, yes, okay. She must be related. Um, oh, no, 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 sorry. Um, so, Count Pedro of Valadoy. Let's have a look at you. What are you good at? 12 learning, 9 diploma... Not, you're not very good at anything, are you, pal, to be honest? Let's... let's uh, Let's be true. So, you're going to have to go without, unfortunately. Hopefully, we can sway you in some other way. Let's just try and sway you. We'll start again. We'll try and get you on side. How much manpower can we actually summon now? Two and a half thousand. Nice. But we still won't go to war. We're at war here, apparently. Norman Conquest of England. Attacking King Harold of England. Okay. Well, I'm not getting involved in that. So, we'll try and kill our brother. We could go to war with Navarra. Um, oh, no, we can't. Your armies are raised. Where? Where are our armies raised? Hey, okay, so... Ah. Uh, our Castile armies are all the way up here. No, 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 no. Let's bring those bad boys home. We're not getting involved in this war anymore. No, 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 no. Nothing to do with us in the slightest. So let's bring all of our men home and disband them. Get ourselves out of war. We don't want to play, take no part in that. And we need to find a court physician as well. We don't actually have one yet. So we'll get our troops home first. Are all of them coming? They best be. Yes, it looks like they are. We don't want to take any part in creating a strong English monarch. Then again, it, do we even have an alliance? Do we actually keep the alliance with William? No idea. Murder secret tunnel. My agent, Duke Nuno, approaches me with a bunch of paper clutched in his hands. I found old art... Um, Art architectural papers of the king's castle. They might be a bit outdated, but look here. That looks like a tunnel we can use. Uh, murder scheme gains progress. If only I had meant, uh, this many hidden places. Call the mason. You gain hidden nooks and crannies for 10 years. No, I'd rather gain... Um, well, I'd rather gain more progress in our scheme. We want to get rid of our brother as quickly as possible. And gain as much power as possible. We need to get our wife pregnant as well. Can we not do anything to try and... Um, we try and sweat with romance. Ah, we can romance her. So, yes, let's start romancing our wife. We need an heir. 
Sway the Good Count, while hosting lords and ladies from realms near and far, some opportunities to portray uh, my friend Count Pedro in a good light have presented themselves. My lord, pray tell, who is the most elegant person you have heard of? Count Pedro, without a doubt. We spend 75 prestige, but it increases his opinion. Or we can just say me, of course, and uh, yeah, we'll get the prestige for ourselves, of course. Romance and Declaration of Love. The time has come to let my feelings toward Queen Eureka be known. I want her to remember this day for the rest of her life. Sing a love ballad. You declare your undying devotion. Secretly plant a letter in her chambers. Write a love poem. Go with my gut in the moment. You declare your undying devotion. Um, let's, let's go with my gut in the moment and see how it goes. I recruit one of my most senior soldiers and practice with him for three days straight. Once he deems me ready, we head together to the main courtyard. As we begin to spar, a crowd gathers, and their cheers soon draw none other than the graceful Queen Uruka. The, soldiers, uh, the soldier fights valiantly, but I disarm him with a final flawless thrust. I kneel before Uruka and declare my noble intentions. I dedicate this victory to you, Queen Uruka. Bringing, your honor, uh, bringing you honour is my only desire. Uruka's reaction is not what I hope for. Do not embarrass yourself further, husband. I would rather eat my own blouse than spend another minute in your presence. I thought we were meant to be. Opinion drops by 50. Okay, well, that's not good, is it? That's not good at all. And we're in debt as well. Why are we so massively in debt all of a sudden? We need to get our troops home. We did send out a couple of gifts as well, didn't we, to sway people? That's fine. We'll inherit a lot of gold once we take care of our brother. We just need to get these men, um, men home first to our capital so that we can disband them. Is there any other issues? We're in debt. I know we're in debt. You can declare war. No, I don't want to do that for now. And yes, I already know about that. Perfect. Right, can I now disband the armor? Uh, levels will take 58 days to return to home. Yeah, that's perfectly fine because I don't plan on going to war for those 58 days. We've got too many holdings, but we don't have a son or anything yet that I want to grant holdings to. We have our brother, but I don't want to give him anything, of course. So we'll have to hold on to those titles for now. But we will end the first episode of our King Alfonso series at least we did manage to achieve a little bit. We managed to get rid of one of our brother's kingdoms already. We just need to now go for our other brother who is still unmarried. So that's perfect. It means he has no heir. That is perfect. He's playing into our hands. Um, yes, as I said, I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and comment down below. Let me know about your own CK3 playthroughs as well as CK3 series that you'd like to see come to the channel. Don't forget to also check out the Eye of the Boneless series, which I will be doing alongside this one. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all very soon.